A 16-year-old arrested and charged with shooting a Fern Creek High School student tells Metro Police that the student was not his target. And we're hearing from the suspect in his own words. The shooting September 30th prompted an evacuation at Fern Creek. WLKY's Steve Bergen is here with more on the police interview. Steve? Colin Andre Banks is facing six charges as a result of that shooting, including assault and wanton endangerment. The student bad, all right? The bad is you're going to be charged, okay? Uh, there's no way around that, all right? The good is the guy that you shot, he's okay. 16 year old Andre Banks was questioned by police after he was apprehended at an apartment complex where he fled following the shooting at Fern Creek High School. Students were led away from the school as officers thoroughly checked the building to see if the shooter was still inside. 15 year old Javante Burroughs was wounded in the abdomen. Do you have to go through uh, metal detectors or anything over Fern Creek? Okay. And you had, you had the gun on you at that point when you went into the school? Banks told police he sold his iPad for $100 to a fellow student, but a counselor at the school told him the $100 bill was fake. He confronted the student in the hallway and pulled out the gun. I see him running, and I see people against the lockers and people running that way, and I just ran the other way. Did, uh, did you know who you had struck when you shot it? I shot it like at his like, towards his back. After you did that, after you pulled the trigger and goes bang, shot goes off, what do you do? The youngster shot was not the intended target. Banks said he bought the 22 caliber revolver five weeks earlier on the street for $40 and admitted it was not the first time he had carried the weapon inside the school. He said it was for his protection. Now, the student who bought that iPad told police he thought the $100 bill he gave Banks was real. Banks is due back in court on January 8th for a pretrial hearing. Steve Bergen, WLKY News. Thank you, Steve. Along with assault and wanton endangerment, Banks is charged with unlawful possession of a firearm on school property, carrying a concealed weapon, tampering with evidence, and possession of a handgun by a minor.